Hello guys, it's me, Hikiya Memoriko, and welcome to Tales of the Morikonomicon. Here I will tell you spooky stories that you can enjoy or not. So, what we'll be having today? Let's find out. I currently work as a scientist at a makeup company called Pretty Face Inc. But they change their name often. Recently, they started sending these free product trials to young women that call themselves makeup gurus on the internet. They tell them it's free to use, but they must refrain from uploading anything until the 7 day trial period is completed. These girls are dying for some attention and money, so they sign any contract without actually reading it. I developed this product, at least part of it, and it's not something that should be used in anything living, let alone a human being. What I'm about to describe is what happens during those hellish 7 days. Day 1. The first box contains a letter with a warning saying, if they leak anything before the 7 day trial ends, they will get sued, but they will not. These are kids we are talking about, so they are easy to scare. Today they will merely use the facial and body cream and start to see promising results. Day 2. Victims start using the whole set of products, mostly creams, drinks and facial masks. They are asked to stay indoors for the products to work properly limiting the physical interaction of the subject as much as possible. Day 3. This is the day of no return. The subject starts losing body air. Most won't even notice the smell lost. Some do, but like it. The skin starts whitening regardless of the ethnicity of the subject, and they start to notice a few side effects. Then, before going to sleep, they apply a full body lotion spray. Day 4. Subjects wake up and they notice their skin is reclaiming their body. There is barely any air, nails, tooth or anything else left to see. Everything is getting covered in smooth skin. Of course there is panic. We tell them there is an unexpected side effect of and we will take care of them in our laboratories. A lie of course. Parents get sued with cash remuneration and we take their children to our installations. Day 5. The subjects wake up blind. Their eyes, teeth and everything else is completely replaced by silky smooth skin. At least we keep them sedated to prevent them from hurting themselves or someone else. I guess it also helps with their physical pain, but we don't really care about that. We keep applying the makeup to them during this period. Day 6. It is over. Everything in their body is now turning to skin, also bones and muscle. Just a few vital organs and life support keeps this human alive. It is basically a giant skin blood filled with a greasy liquid and breathing just because it is connected to a machine. We tell the family the subject died because they failed to follow the instructions and promise extra cash if they sign a silence agreement. If they accept, that's it. If not, we have the means to silence them permanently. Day 7. The time is right. We start harvesting the oily liquid from inside the blob, that in turn allows us to keep producing our products. I still get to find another use for this substance. I fear we might be doing this just to torment innocent people. We drain the lifeless flesh, blob dry and throw them into the burner. Then we send the invitation to another unsuspecting victim. 